Hey YouTube, this is Everything Pan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Nashville in VMware. Um, this is going to require you to install Windows 95 um, in order to do this installation. Um, so I'll have that linked in the description. Um, and I already have a VM with Windows 95 installed, and you have to have that um, installed before doing Windows Nashville. So Let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Um, make sure you select, when you're creating your virtual machine, make sure it's a Windows 95 virtual machine. Um, and now we have um, Windows 95 installed here. As you can see, um, Windows 95. And I think we do the WinVer here. Yep, Windows 95. Um, and the build number for Windows Nashville is build 999. So. Um, this is build 950 technically, but this is the final version. Um, but now what you need to do is when Windows 95 is installed, go ahead and go to Removable Devices, CD, DVD, Settings, Browse for your Windows Nashville ISO, which will be in the description, then click OK. And then go to My Computer, then go to this new disk right here, and then go click on Setup. And then here it says welcome to Windows 95 setup. And go ahead and click continue. Now they never really changed the name to Windows Nashville, it's just Windows 95 uh, in the text. But it is Windows Nashville build 999, and I'll prove that to you once this installation is finished. So go ahead and click yes on the software license agreement. And now it's going to go into the setup wizard here. Go ahead and click next and then make sure the directory is still C Windows. Click Next. Now it's going to check for installed components and for available disk space. And then when this window pops up, go ahead. Um, you can do whatever you want on this, honestly. Um, I mean, it's only six megabytes of disk space. So, um, I mean, you can do it if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. And this process does not take long at all. You can do either process because if you don't want to save the other files, it will just skip this and it will go to a different, it will go to this window instead. So just go ahead and do typical, click next, and then the name should still be the same. And then what you want to do is click both of these options here, click next, and that's going to analyze your computer. And this process can take a little bit of time, just kind of depends, so I'll be right back. And now when this window pops up, go ahead and um, do any one of these here. You can do any one of them. Not really that you need to do them in any way. But um, I'm just going to uncheck all of them and click Next. And then click Install Most Common Components, hit Next. It's going to ask for the computer name, work group, and computer description. Go ahead and click next on that. Do not create a startup disk. Click next, and then go ahead and click next to copy files onto your computer. So this process process can take a little bit of time, so just kind of let this run through for a bit. And I'll be back with you guys uh, once that is all finished. And if these windows pop up on here, go ahead and um, click no to all and then it'll run through quicker so just let this sit and I'll be right back so once that's finished um, this window may pop up so go ahead and click OK and then just click finish here it's going to reboot and I'll say starting up is it getting ready to run for the first time And it'll say error starting a program, but that's fine. It's just VMware program. So just click OK on this. And then go ahead and click OK. 
um, and it says that this is damaged so um, go ahead and delete the damaged file and then it's going to ask you to type in a new password you don't have to do that just click OK and now it's going to set up hardware and plug and play devices so this process can take a little bit of time and it's going to do control panel programs on the start menu Windows help MS DOS program settings time zone and then Microsoft Exchange I think if you installed that so I'm not sure if it's going to do that or not select your time zone click close and it actually is going to do Microsoft Exchange here so it'll say configuring it'll ask if you've used Windows messaging before just click next and then click next I'm sure you can probably just cancel this honestly just go ahead and cancel it I'll say setup is finished configuring. Go ahead and restart now. So let's say please wait while it shuts down. And it's going to start up into the OS. And you can see the Microsoft Internet Explorer has gone um, has been removed from the boot logo. So it will load up and then it will come into the logon screen here. Go ahead and click OK on this error here. And then click OK to um, log in. It will say finalizing and here we are. We are logged in. And if we go ahead and just go ahead and click no on this. If we right click on my computer, hit properties. Here it says Windows 95 build 999 so there's your proof right there that this is Windows Nashville technically so there you go guys that's how to install Windows Nashville build 999 in VMware thank you guys for watching um, future videos coming out soon more VMware tutorials and I keep forgetting about my Q&A so I hope that comes out soon but I'm more than likely for, I have no idea but um, so leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this share the video as well um, common ideas for my future videos down below on what I should do and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.